Well, I'm back again for Verizon Wireless Commercial, my way. So here we go. So this is Betrayal. Hello? This is Verizon Wireless. Can I get your cell phone number, please? And your four-digit PIN. How can we help you? I have a problem. My phone won't charge. I went to the store and the gentleman put in every socket there is and it will not charge. Well, um, miss, we need to do a factory reset on your phone. Uh, excuse me, why do you need to do a factory reset on my phone? It won't charge. It won't hold the charge. And the last time you all factory reset my phone, you end up deleting my contacts. And I clearly said, do not delete my contacts. And then you know what you did when you deleted my contacts? You came back and you said, we're sorry. We can't get your contacts back. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that um, your contacts were deleted. Were they bagged up? Do you think they was bagged up? The Verizon Cloud didn't even work when it was supposed to be bagged up. It didn't back up. And here I am again for the fourth time with another issue with the same phone and here i am again going through hell and high water trying to get a resolution to my problem with your company to whom i got the phone from do that make sense to you pass me to a manager or a supervisor hold please hello this is trevor Trevor, did they blind trans me again? Uh, how can I help you? Read the notes in the system because there is notes in the system. Why every time I call your company, I have to explain myself over and over again. Read the notes. Well, I see you having a problem with your phone. Um, we have three options for you. We can... Uh, Get your phone back, send you a FedEx and, and replace your phone, the same one you have. Or we can send you a Samsung S7. Or you can buy it out for $245. How does that sound? Like you smoking crack or something. I'm not doing neither one of those. This is the fourth time. And if I trade to send this phone back, it will be the fifth time. And I'm not doing that. Well, miss, that's our only options. We can't do anything else. What do you mean you can't do anything else? I pay you faithfully every month for a service, for a product that's not cheap. You charge $600 for this phone and I paid for it. So I expect to get quality service and a quality product for my money. Or Verizon needs to find a way to substitute and credit my bill. Well, we're sorry. That's the best we can do. We see there's notes in the system that says um, that our other manager in Tier 2, uh, Mark, made you the offer, and that's all we can do. Okay, I'm done. I'm going to contact Better Business Bureau, and I think I'm going to tweet for the month about the issues I've had with Verizon Wireless. You understand that? Did you get that? All right. You have a great day. Oh, thank you for being the best part of Verizon. Bye. So, that's pretty much how my conversation went. And as of today, I'm still waiting for somebody from Verizon to call me about this situation. And nobody has called me. I've got DM in my Twitter and I'm not having a conversation behind the closed door because when I try to handle this problem correctly you guys want to ignore me and it's not going away I'm not gonna let it I need a credit I need some compensation for my irritation my aggravation and my frustration with this situation four days without a phone no communication whatsoever. So if something would have happened, 911, and I needed a phone, I would not have, I would have to go outside with a white handkerchief and flag somebody down. This is ridiculous. So Verizon Wireless, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? 
Verizon. Can you hear me now? You're going to.